you want to be the best pianist of all time? Do you want to win all gigs just with your fingers? It is easy as pronouncing Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do. Play like a pro with Emmanuel Lugue. Subscribe, drop a comment and share with your friends. Yes, hi guys. Welcome so much for this uh, lesson. Now, um, we are moving on with the piano foundational course for the beginners. And uh, today we are forming the chord inversions. So we are uh, the chord inversions or uh, inversions in different chords uh, in all the 12 keys. So we are looking at uh, the scales, but also we are forming the chords and also inverting them. So we said that an inversion is a chord that does not start with its tonic note. A chord that does not start with its tonic note. Right. So we formed the chord inversions in the key of C. And now today we are forming the chord inversions in the key of C sharp. The key of C sharp. Now if you are here for the first time, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, remember uh, to hit that notification bell so that tomorrow... Or next time I produce a new lesson, you are the very first person to be to be notified. Alright, alright. So we are in the key of C sharp and we are forming the chord inversions in the scale of C sharp. Thank you so much. So this is the C sharp major scale. Sorry. Right, so C sharp is number one, D, uh, D sharp is number two, we have F3, uh, F sharp four, we have G sharp five, A sharp six, C seven, and then uh, we have um, C sharp eight, C sharp eight. Nice. Okay, so uh, the first chord of the major scale is always a major, is always a major. So we are going to form a uh, C sharp major chord and then we do inversions of the C sharp major chord so this is the C sharp major chord by now I know you are familiar with chords the major minor and diminished alright so this is the first chord that we are forming so we say that inversions we can just play with inversions on our right hand on our right hand so I have this chord. So this is the root position. If I want to form the first inversion, I'll take C sharp to be the last note. So I'm going to have this chord. I'll play F, I'll play G sharp, and then C sharp will come to be the last note. So root position, first inversion. So the C sharp, we've played it as the last note. Now the second inversion, we shall play take a F to be the last note. F will be the last note. So we'll have this one. So we'll have this chord. So we have root position, first inversion, second inversion. That is for your one chord. Now, for your two chord, uh, it's a minor chord, D sharp minor, D sharp minor, D sharp minor is your two. So what we do, we play the root position, that is uh, E flat, uh, G flat, and B flat. And then we take E flat to be the last note to create uh, the first inversion from the root position. So we'll play F sharp, uh, A sharp, and D sharp. This is the first inversion. Second inversion. We take our F sharp. We play it as the last one. At the last note. Right. We play it as the last note. 
So the last inversion or second inversion you have a B flat, E flat and G flat. Very nice. So you have this chord. Good. Uh, now for your three, three is also a minor chord. So we are forming F minor. F minor chord. I have uh, F, uh, F flat and C. F minor. Flatten the third from the major chord. So this is the root position. The first inversion, we shall take F to be the last note. So we shall play G sharp, C, and F. So we shall have this chord. First inversion. First inversion of the F minor chord. First inversion. Then second inversion, we shall take F flat. We play it as the last note. So we shall have C, F, and F flat. So we shall have this chord. Second inversion. Second inversion. So we have... Sorry. Right. Your four chord is also is just a major. Your four chord is a major chord. So four in the key of C is the F sharp. F sharp major chord. So we shall play F sharp major chord as our root position. So you have uh, F sharp. You have uh, A sharp and you have C sharp. So you have this chord. Root position. Uh, first inversion, we play F sharp, the last note. So we play A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. First inversion. First inversion. A sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. Uh, second inversion, uh, A sharp will come to be the last note. So we shall play uh, we shall play uh, A sharp. Sorry, we shall play A sharp as the last note. That is our second inversion. So you have C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. So you have All right. Now our uh, five chord is also a major. So we shall form G sharp major chord. G sharp major, G sharp major as our five in the key of C sharp. Nice, 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 nice. So I have G sharp, I have C, and I have uh, D sharp as my root position, as my root position. So first inversion, I'll take G sharp, I play it as the last note. So I'll have C, D sharp, and G sharp. So this is your first inversion. First inversion. Second inversion, I play C as the last note. So I'll have this chord D sharp G sharp and C so we have alright our 6th chord is a minor so we shall form a B flat minor chord because it's the 6th in the key of C sharp uh, it's the 6th in the key of C sharp so we form uh, this chord I have uh, B flat, D flat, and F. All right. I have this chord. Nice, 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 nice. Root position. A uh, first inversion, I'm going to take B flat as the last note. So I will play uh, C sharp or D flat, F, and B flat. First inversion. A second inversion, I'll play C sharp or D flat as my last note. So I'll have F, a B flat, and D flat. So I'll have this chord as my second inversion. Alright, our seventh chord is a diminished is a diminished so we are forming uh, the c diminished c diminished chord that is i have c and uh, e flat and g flat so i have this chord 
this is the root position of the C diminished. If I want to play an inversion of it, I'll take C and play it as the last note. So I'll have E flat, G flat, and C. So I have this chord. First inversion. Second inversion, I'll take E flat and play it as the last note. So I'll have G flat, C, and E flat. So I'll have this chord. Right. Those are the chord inversions in the key of C sharp. In the key of C sharp. So we are inverting the chords. Now we said inversions help in speed and also accuracy. So the time that you just get used to playing the inversions, you shall become accurate. You will not just depend on playing on one position or just playing on the root position. Yeah. So the next uh, that we are going to look at is uh, the chord inversions in the key of D. So we shall look at the chord, uh, the chord inversions in the key of D in our next lesson. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any lesson, please, you can WhatsApp me through my WhatsApp number. It is there at the top. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.